All right, boys and girls, show me that you are ready. Have a seat on your bottoms, facing forward. Excellent. Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today, as we get started, we are going to start by practicing the listening rules. All right. So I'm going to hold up the cards, and we're going to say them together. And then the second time, we're going to do them using self-talk. So let's take a look. <laughs> show me body still. Show me eyes watching. Show me ears listening. Excellent. And show me voice quiet. All right, boys and girls, now we're going to do the listening rules on our own using self-talk. And remember, self-talk is that tiny voice in your head that no one else can hear. Okay? All right, go ahead. Boys and girls, now you are showing me that you are ready for learning. Last time I was here and we read a story. The story was called uh, Be Polite and Show Your Manners. All right? Remember we talked about having good manners and we wrote thank you notes? All right, today we are going to read another story, and this one is called Share and Take Turns. Share and Take Turns. All right, I wrote our I can statement for today behind me. All right, I'm going to read it first and then we'll all read it together, okay? I can share and take turns. All right, now let's all read this together. Help me out. I can share and take turns. Excellent, can we try that one more time? Yeah. All right. today that I want you to listen for as I'm reading. Okay, some important words. The key words down here in purple, all right, are important ones that I want you to listen for. I'm going to say the word and then I want you to repeat it. Share. Share. Divide. Divide. Turn. Turn. Trade. Trade. Okay, you're going to see those words in our book. All right, and we're going to talk about what they mean and how we can use them as we read. Share and take turns. Yeah, we can turn and take. It's fun to play and imagine. Sometimes when I play, I want other people, I want what other people have, or they want what I have. Have any of you ever felt this way? Give a thumbs up. Hands back and laughs. I know a way we can get along. We can share. One way to share is to divide things. Did anybody spot a key word on one of those pages? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, what's the key word? Share. share. What's the other one? Divide. 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 Excellent. Excellent. Does anyone know what the word divide means yet? No. Yeah? All right, let's keep let's keep reading and see if we can figure it out. Another way to share is to use things together. Playing together can be more fun than playing alone. Trading is also a way to share. My friend can use what I have while I use what my friend has. Trading. Oh, I hear some people that spotted another keyword. What's the new keyword? Trade. 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 Does anyone know what trade means? No. no. Franz, do you know what trade, trade means? Also the way to share. What does trade mean? You want that thing and you trade something. Yeah, you want what someone else has, has and you can switch or you can trade. Taking turns is a way of sharing too. When we can't use something at the same time, I can wait for my turn. Oh, did we spot another keyword? Yeah. What's the keyword? Turn. 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 Do you guys ever take turns? Yeah. Yeah. They tell us here. When we can't use something at the same time, I can wait for my turn. I see two girls who are both using a slide taking turns. She goes, and then she goes. I can also share things I know. And I can share special things about me, like things I make and do. When I help someone, I share my time. Boys 
and girls, we are learning that we can share things and we can also share our time. We can also share our time when we help others. I might offer to share or another person might offer to share. What are they sharing in this picture? Um, a shirt and a hat. Shirt and a shirt. A shirt and a hat. They're sharing shirts and hats. Clothing. Other clothing. Sometimes I ask a friend to share. I'm glad when someone shares with me. If the person says no, I can do something else. Boys and girls, when someone asks you to share, do you always have to say yes? yes. Do we always have to? Yes. Yeah. I guess it depends on the situation. If you ask someone to share and they say, not right now, is that okay? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You can wait your turn, wait till they're finished with it, okay? Or wait till later. It's not always easy to share. I might have something that's special to me. I might not want to share it, or I may not feel ready to share. I'm noticing that this girl has something that looks special to her. Mommy, what does she have? She has a guitar. Does it look like she wants to share it? No. I don't think she's ready to, but maybe later. That's okay. I can choose not to share or offer to share later or share something else. So if you're not ready to share something, what, what can you do? Can take another week. Can take another week. So what can you do? Can take another week. Oh, maybe you can take something else. Share something else. Is, are there any other ideas? If you're not ready to share, you can share something different, or you can, what else can you do? Or get something else to play with, or wait until later. Sometimes I, de I decide to share even though it's hard for me. When I share or take turns, I'm being generous. So boys and girls, even though she had that special guitar, she decided that she was ready to share it. This big word here means is generous, all right? Which means that she's being very nice. She's being very nice to him by sharing her guitar. I'm learning to make good choices. I'm learning to think about others. No matter where I am or who I'm with, there are special ways that I can share. What should she be sharing here? Umbrella. Her umbrella. What will happen if she doesn't share her umbrella? It will get wet. And get sick. And you might get sick. So what do you think she should do here? Share. Share her umbrella. Oh. All right, boys and girls, we're going to talk about our key words again and what they mean, and then we're going to do an activity together. Okay? So what was our first key word? Share. Share. And who can tell me what it means to share? What does it mean to share? To um, divide. It could mean to divide. It could mean to divide. Boys and girls, when you share something, you take what you have and you let someone else use it. All right, you let someone else use it. All right, on this page, we learned the word divide. All right, let's look back at this page. One way to share is to divide things. All right? If you divide something, you may break it in half or split it in half, and I keep some, and then you get some. Okay? Let's see. What's our next word? Turns. turns. What do we know about turns? What does that word mean? It means that if, if you go on, on another people want you to go and, and she waits. So you go, and then he waits, and then what happens when he's done waiting? Go. And, go. and then he goes. Excellent. Just like the girls did. The slide. And the ducky. Exactly. The girls did on the slide, and the ducky, right? And the ducky. And on the there ducky. There they are. Yeah. And that's the ducky. Yeah. They were taking turns. 
And then, what's our last word everyone can say? Trade. Trade. Who knows what it means to trade? Franz? Oh, pants, you want to say? Switch. Switch. All right, go ahead. What does it mean? Switch. To switch. I have something, you have something, and then we switch. Okay? So, boys and girls, our next activity is to pull something out of the mystery basket. All right? I have this red basket here, and inside it are pictures of things that you might share, divide, take turns, or trade. All right? And I'm going to call volunteers up to pull something out of my mystery basket, and I want you to share with the class how you might share or take turns with this object. Okay? And think about using a key word when you describe what you would do. Okay? So let's see. Who is ready to go first? Who's been sitting nice and quiet? All right, I have a volunteer. Would you like to come up first? All right, what did you get? Let's stand up and show the rest of the class. Tell the class, what did you get? Pie. You got a pile of toys. <coughs> what would you do with these toys? Share. And can you tell me in a complete sentence how you would share? Take turns. Can you say, I would share and share. take turns share. with the toys? Thank you. Boys and girls, I'm going to leave this one right here for us all to look at. Let's see, who else would like to go? Im June, would you like to come up next? All right, come on up. Im June, show the class what you got. What did you get? Now, Im June, if you had a pile of pencils in front of you, what would you do?
equivalent, you can say, I would divide up the trains and share with others. Can you say that for me? Thank you, David. All right, boys and girls, we have time for one more, one more volunteer. Wow, I am very impressed with how pro has been sitting. Pro, can you come on up and sit back there? I know he's been working really hard to keep his bottom on the ground, his eyes forward. What do you have? Books. Excellent. And what would you do with these books? How would you share them? share them, would you uh, give them out to others who wanted to use them? Yeah. Can you say, I would share and give I them out? as you are doing your writing, all right? Boys and girls, you may quietly go back to your seat. 